okay. And although his troublesome daughter behaved in ways I never could have expected, it's all taken care of now. What? She got shot? Julian got shot? But by who? A guard? Or maybe that bastard Pale Snake figured out where she was going to deliver the disc and he's hiding around here somewhere. Jolene! The guarded control will take care of retrieving Star Platinum, so there's no reason for me to stay here anymore. With that out of the way, I should head back to the chapel. Hmm? What was I doing out here again? Oh right, the disc. I was given orders to bring this thing back without a scratch on it. And I was also ordered to make sure Jolene Kuja was finished off for good. Thing is, I don't know who gave me these orders. I can't seem to remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Either way, I was given orders to completely blast straight through Jolene's head with this gun. Damn it all. There's nothing I can do to help you now. In your greatest moment of need, I'm utterly useless. It's over now, Jolene Cujo! to save you, but I might be able to protect the disc. And if you still have the strength within you to keep fighting, you may be able to survive. Between the years of 1887 and 1974, in the state of Florida alone, there were more than 50 reported cases of fish, frogs, snakes, and sheep falling from the sky in unbelievable numbers. It was caused by a tornado, at least that's what they say. And these colorful amphibians are poison dart frogs that live on treetops in Central and South America. They carry a deadly poison under their skin that Aboriginal Americans used for their blowguns. What the actual fuck is going on here? This is... 